This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here at the International Workboat Show in New Orleans, and we're very pleased to be joined by Andreas Blomdahl, CEO of Simcoe Marine, manufacturers of Fox Diesel. And first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, but why don't you give us a little bit of background on yourself and your position in the maritime industry? Well, I've been in the marine industry for the past 20 years uh, with a different company in Sweden called Marine Diesel. And I just uh, earlier this year joined uh, Simcoe as CEO. I've been on the board of directors of Simcoe since it was formed in 2012. I'm sure many of our viewers know the Simcoe name or the Ox Diesel name, but why don't you just give me a brief overview of the company today? Well, the company was formed in 2012. We actually listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange in, uh, in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, the company started as an engineering company, uh, uh, developing the Ox Diesel outboard as a commercial uh, outboard engine, uh, which went in production in 2016. Okay. And we right now, this year, we've been focusing on ramping up the production capacity. Uh, we've had some new models come out. We started with a 200. Now we got a 125, 150, 175 and uh, 200. The diesel outboard is, is not well known, I guess, in the commercial sector. Uh, what are some of the advantages uh, to having a diesel outboard? Well, for the commercial sector, diesel has always been the primary fuel of use. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that on the outboard side, it's not been available before. Uh, Yanmar had a couple of smaller diesel outboards back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, but today the technology uh, has, has um, come so far that it's more feasible to do lightweight uh, diesel outboards in the higher performance sector. And you can see that by uh, have a couple other diesel outboards coming on the market. You have Nand the Shark from Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, Cox from England coming out that you see here as well. So it's, uh, it's more mature uh, diesel engines uh, that, that has some power to weight ratio that makes it feasible to use for outboards today. So, so what are some of the specific technologies? I mean, what, what, what has changed to make this uh, now a feasible option uh, for the outboard market? Well, we are, we're basing our diesel outboard on an automotive engine, much like an, like an inboard engine. Uh, some of our other competitors have developed their own engines. Uh, but from a cost perspective, we've, uh, we've always based our technology on using engines from the automotive industry, which have become more powerful over the years and lighter weights. Uh, right now, we have a GM Opel engine that we're using for the production version. Uh, next generation has got a six-cylinder all-aluminum BMW-based engine. Okay. Okay. And, and also, in, in our concept, uh, we've relocated the uh, transmission from, from lower torpedo, which is, is the location for all transmissions and all outboards today, okay. up to uh, just below the engines. We have a large hydraulic uh, a gearbox uh, more suitable for commercial applications. Okay. Um, and if I'm if I'm correct, that next version based on the BMW engine, that's the higher horsepower, 300 uh, horsepower model, correct? Correct. We are right now on the water doing sea trials of the first prototypes of that engine, uh, which is a 300 horsepower uh, uh, BMW based outboard. Uh, it's supposed to come on the market early 2020. So we got another year or so of of testing before it goes in production. As the, the, the diesel outboards are a, a newer offering in the marine propulsion sector, how have you found reaction from the market in general, your customers specifically? Well, the market has been asking for diesel outboards for well, as long as I've been on the market. It's, uh, it's been the talk of the town when there's diesel outboards coming. Uh, so, uh, so it's quite easy to get market acceptance, uh, but then at the same time, they want to test it and try it out in smaller quantities before they... They exchange the entire fleets on them, so it takes a little bit of time to get market acceptance, but I'm, uh, I'm quite sure that that will come in, uh, in the coming year or now. Um, as you noted, uh, there's an increasing amount of diesel outboards entering the market. Um, I'm a vessel owner. What's the Simcoe value proposition? I think the value proposition from our side is that, that we have a broad range. Uh, we will have the broadest range covering 125 up to 300 horsepower here in the, uh, in the coming year. Uh, and also we have a much more heavy duty solution than all of our competitors, especially with the gearbox, having a large hydraulic gearbox, which actually makes us capable of doing crash stops. It's not something we recommend, but we can actually do 40 knots and put it in full reverse without damaging the, the gearbox, which is unheard of. On That's just a way of expressing how strong the, the technology actually is. So we have a quite different technology than, than most of our competitors, which we feel is a much 
more durable and heavy duty uh, setup than than everybody else has. Um, obviously, you're you're developing new products. Uh, you, you have stuff on the water. Is there a particular message that you're trying to get across here at, uh, in New Orleans? No, I think it's the um, if you haven't been on a boat with a with one of our outboards on it, uh, there's a lot of the distributors have demo boats, etc. So just get out there and get a feel for it. Uh, a lot of people feel it's a it's an old clunky, uh, smoky uh, diesel engine, but it's not. It's completely different. It's very much like driving a uh, a gasoline outboard. You're based in Sweden. Um, can you address uh, your your market here in the United States and specifically your distribution network? Oh, well, we have a global distribution network, but if you specifically look at the U.S. market, we're very proud to work with three very established U.S. distributors in the marine industry. So we have we have uh, Laborde that's exhibiting here at the uh, at the show, and then we have uh, up the coast we're working with uh, Mac Boring, okay. and then also on the east coast we work with uh, Cascade. Okay. Andreas, it's a busy show. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV.